Well, good morning. My name is Ron Hughes, and welcome to another edition of VBC Daily 3 Prayer Time. I have the privilege of uh, praying with you today uh, over the passage that we went and looked at in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. Uh, this was a brief uh, discussion that Jesus had with the Pharisees uh, over the the Sabbath and what is permitted and, and not. And uh, I was very uh, encouraged by how Jesus reacted uh, when challenged by the Pharisees and uh, kind of gave me the idea that uh, we have lots to be praying about, about the needs of, uh, of people, uh, about what's going on into our country. And um, uh, Jesus gave us a great example of a response when we're faced with all these things. So would you join me in prayer right now? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of this day. I thank you for the fact that uh, uh, your son, Jesus, uh, came to this world uh, to show us uh, a way that we can uh, be reconciled to uh, God the Father in a manner that uh, not only uh, removes sin from us, but uh, allows us to go through life uh, in a way that would be found pleasing to uh, God Almighty. So uh, when I see this passage in, in Matthew and I take a look at Jesus' response to the Pharisees, um, one th word that comes to my uh, mind, and that is um, overruled. And Father, we see so many things going on in this uh, country and in the world today, so much evil and... and uh, uh, things that uh, uh, are appalling on um, how people treat each other. And I'm reminded uh, in this passage that Jesus is Lord, not only of the Sabbath. He is Lord of all. He is in control. He uh, overrules um, the things of this world. He uh, puts things into place and is working his plan uh, for the good of of all. So, Father, uh, I just want to acknowledge uh, that even though there's so much strife in the world today, so much uh, fear and concern uh, of what's going on in our own country, in our own communities, sometimes in our own households, but we know that you are in charge. You're working your plan. And I thank you so much that uh, you have sent your son Jesus to uh, reconcile us by the blood that is shared on the cross and where the full propitiation of our sins has been paid. And we have the Holy Spirit that indwells in us to allow us to be able to uh, be regenerated on a daily basis in a way where we would treat others fairly, that we would uh, be kind to others, that we would learn to love uh, our neighbors, that we would be able to um, see the difference between right and wrong. In all these things, we want to look to you um, when we're confronted with uh, evil before us, that we would ask that question uh, personally. What would Jesus do in this situation? What would Jesus have me to say? I pray that uh, our tongues would be tamed so that uh, no evil would spout from them, but only good things that would uh, pour out that would be found pleasing to you. You... O oh, Jesus, are the Lord of the Sabbath, but you, O oh, Jesus, are the one that um, is in control of all. And so, uh, Father, I just thank you for the fact that uh, I am considered a worthy servant because of Jesus and that I'm able to um, be utilized by you to spread the gospel, the good news, that there is hope in this world, that there is an eternity 
with God the Father in heaven that is available to all who would just place their faith in Jesus Christ. So, Father, may we continue to, uh, on a daily basis, guard our thoughts, our actions, and our tongue, that it would be found pleasing to you. And I pray this for each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen.